hey gems welcome back to my channel so as you can see by the title of this video i'm finally going to give you all my birth story <laughs> well the very condensed version of my birth story if you want to see more detailed behind the scene footage you can check that out over on my patreon that video is posted right now as well as probably seven other videos i have a good bit of videos up on my patreon um that kind of has show footage of my labor and delivery days after i gave birth just adjusting to motherhood with my new normal but yeah check out my patreon most of the videos are available to second and third tier patrons so if you trying to rock with your girl go sign up and be a part of my patreon family anyways i still wanted to share my birth story on my youtube page because i had a very you can say unique birth <laughs> with my third baby i did go into labor early and i was still able to have a home birth a healthy home birth at that so if you're interested in hearing more about that this is a video about how i gave birth at home naturally at 35 weeks and one day social media you know that I was doing a lot this pregnancy a little backstory moved back home in February I was about four months pregnant at the time I restarted my business gem holistic from scratch so I was doing a lot and preparing for the agriculture fair that would have been held May of 2022 it was actually the weekend after my solar return so the weekend of the May 28th was the ag fair so from March up until May I was making product every day like I was on my feet you know I had to order everything from scratch so I was doing a lot I was up and down I was not keeping still if you watch my previous video about my third trimester pregnancy update I explained that my belly began to drop I explained why if you didn't watch that video go watch it long story short I had my honoring our mother's ceremony on my solar return which was May 21st even that day you could see that my belly was really low like everybody that saw me was like yo you look like you're ready to get going to labor right now after that weekend I was like I'm gonna take it easy because I wanted to be good for the agriculture fair because I did all that work for that event and I didn't want to have to miss it so um, the day after my event my solar return that was a Saturday so the Sunday I went to the beach I relaxed that week I really was taking it easy I was mostly in bed on my laptop just doing finishing touch for my products because I had already done make all my products all I had to do at that point was update my labels print them and label my product but the I'll say the Tuesday I started to feel a little under the weather and Wednesday I was completely out of it my body was aching from my waist down was aching like you know how like you get body aches when you have the flu that's how it felt i could not get out of bed i had a little fever i didn't really have much of an appetite and i kept getting contractions with which at the time i was like it's probably just braxton hicks so i stayed in bed all day and i was drinking a bunch of water I was drinking a lot of coconut water because I was like, maybe I'm dehydrated and I just need to drink some water to get these Braxton Hicks under control. Cause I was like, Ag Fair is this weekend. I cannot be sick right now. I cannot go into labor right now. I have things to do. Yeah, I stayed in bed all day and my two year old literally was stuck to my side that day. He stayed in bed with me all day. So we were both in bed just sleeping. We slept all day and i still had so much to do like my body didn't allow me to do anything else like i said i still had to update my labels and get them printed i think i had finished update most of them but i hadn't print any yet and i haven't labeled anything yet the thursday morning the braxton hicks just kept coming well which i thought at the time i was saying is braxton hicks 
and I remember that morning my mother had something to do that that day that morning that Thursday morning my mother had somewhere to go she came in my room before she left and she saw me still out of it and she was like you sure you're not in labor and I was like I can't be in labor it's still too early and I don't want to go to the hospital this is what I'm telling her and she was just like okay well I'm going to she had an event she she was a part of that she had to help set up for or whatever so she was like i'm going to the event and call me if anything so that day i was pretty much home alone with my two boys <laughs> so i spent i literally put my four-year-old in front of the tv that day because i was like i can't there's not much i could do right now okay so you're just gonna gotta sit in front of this tv and watch tv today like i'm sorry and my two-year-old who was like I said he wasn't really feeling good along with me he was just on me all day that day as well that day I tried I really tried I tried my best <laughs> to um finish update my labor I was so determined I was like there's no way I'm in labor I have agriculture fair to be at to be at there's no way I'm in labor I was in denial okay I would say around 12 30 ish no around 12 or minutes to 12 my mother came back home I was in the bathroom on the toilet with my two-year-old on my lap. I was taking a shit. Sorry if that's TMI. My mother came home. She came in the bathroom and she was like, are you okay? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, just still having um, Braxton Hicks. This is what I'm still calling them, Braxton Hicks. She she walked out and I called her back and I said, come for him. Because I was telling her to come for my son because I was getting another contraction in that moment. So she took him and as soon as she came out the bathroom, my water broke on the toilet well i think it partially broke at that point but the water broke i was like oh shit yep this is it at that point everything that was going through my head that had me staying in denial didn't matter anymore i was like yep the baby is coming today whether you like it or not so i called my mother back into the bathroom and i was like my water just broke call the midwife <laughs> And I was like, I don't want to go to the hospital. I don't want to go to the hospital. This is what I'm saying. Because I'm like, I'm 35 weeks on one day. And they call that, they would consider that premature. Anything before 37 weeks, they would consider it premature. And even a midwife would send you to the hospital. Um, if you're premature or whatever. I said, call the midwife. I don't want to go to the hospital. At that point, I went into the shower because the contractions were kicking up at this point. And um, I did most of my laboring in the shower because I was supposed to have a water birth. I was so unprepared. I didn't have anything. I was supposed to have a, uh, um, the sister was supposed to lend me her birthing pool. I was supposed to have a water birth. I didn't even have anything like none of the supplies I needed for a home birth. I didn't have nothing, okay, nothing. I spent most of my time in the shower laboring, running the hot water on my back, breathing through those contractions. I had some music playing, Landra was playing, playing in the background, just to kind of keep my mind a little calm. And um, yeah, my mother called the midwife and she was just like, I'm on my way. The midwife got there probably about around 1.30ish. Okay, this is what happened. My mom came home around 12.30 minutes to 1. And the midwife got there around between 1.30 minutes to 2. Around 2 o'clock, give or take. And everything just sped up. Like, them contractions got more and more intense. It got quick, very close together. It was, I was just there breathing through them. When I got out of the shower, I was in my room and I just continued breathing through the contractions. I recorded as much as I could. Like I said, that footage is over on my Patreon. As she was going to say, oh, lay down and um, let me listen to the heartbeat. I was like, no, I can't lay down. I can't move. I was standing up. I was literally, <laughs> wait, I was, I was at the end of my bed and I was literally standing up. Say the bed is like behind me, right here. And I was standing up like this with my with my legs open like that. And that baby just shoo, came right down. I was standing up just like this. This is how I gave birth, just like this. <laughs> um, my baby was born May 
26 at 3.40 p.m. Healthy, weighing six pounds flat, <laughs> 19 inches. I was healthy, he was healthy, we were good. I'm sharing this because I want women to know that a healthy pregnancy, a healthy birth, all determines on the state of your health prior to even getting pregnant. A healthy pregnancy and birth starts before conception. And like I said, most midwives or any doctor would say go to the hospital. Some might even call 911, I don't know. But I knew the state of my health during my pregnancy and I knew I had a very healthy pregnancy. I was not high risk, I didn't have any issues and I knew that I could give birth at home. So I say this because I, I need women to understand that you have to take care of your body before you even conceive, okay? So a lot of these issues that arise while pregnant, preeclampsia, gestational diabetes, and all of that is because of the state of your health prior to you even getting pregnant. And it's unfortunate because a lot of it comes from miseducation where women just really don't know and some know and don't care do you sis but a lot of women just don't know you have to be very mindful of what you're eating and how you're living before you get pregnant while you're pregnant and while you're breastfeeding a lot of time is hard for women because because we're already so stuck in our habits we're stuck in what we're used to. We want instant gratification when it comes to our food, when it comes to the things we do on a daily basis, the things we listen to, the things we watch, everything. But it all affects you and then it affects the baby. I am not telling women to go have a home birth if they go into labor early just like that no i'm not saying that that's not my message here i'm saying that i was able to do that because i was in a state to be able to do that but to be honest my baby was born the size of any full-term baby like full-term babies are born at six pounds every day if he had stayed in there any longer <laughs> there's no telling how big he would have gotten and i gave birth five weeks early i just say that to say this we are given due dates but it is never accurate it's never accurate okay that's why we prefer to even just call it a due time you know any time around this month i am due although my due date was in june i gave birth the end of may it is what it is that's when my baby was ready to come the babies know what they're doing like our body is so intelligent and our babies are super intelligent a lot of times they do things for your and their own survival so say he didn't come when he did i probably would have pushed my body even more beyond its limits because in my mind i had to get everything i needed to get done and in actuality i actually needed to just rest so he came early and that's what I had to do after that. I had to rest. I couldn't go to the agriculture fair. I had to sit it out. And although I was very emotional about that in the moment, everything happened the way it was supposed to happen. And once again, the baby saved my life. <laughs> I don't mean that in terms of a life and death thing for this situation. I just mean in terms of me taking care of myself because I was really pushing my body beyond its limits. I would never do that again, not while pregnant. Like I knew I wasn't supposed to be doing it, but it's different when it's just you, when you have so much to do and it's just you, you know, being a new single mom and all of that. Like I just felt like I needed to get it done and I didn't have the concrete support that I needed to say that I can delegate to other people to help me. So it was pretty much all on me. But we were both healthy, we were both happy, and we are still doing well. No issues arise afterwards. There was nothing. Like, we were good, <laughs> you know? And I am proud to say that I've had all three of my beautiful babies at home, naturally, no intervention. Yeah, that's how I gave birth <laughs> at 35 weeks on one day, at home and had a healthy baby 
with no I with no issues no health issues and we're both healthy and safe so like i said if you want to see the in the moment footage of that find out more information all of the details regarding the birth and delivery and what i did afterwards with you know lotus bird placenta care all of that all of that stuff is over on my patreon already uploaded not bio sorry click the link in my description box below and go over to my patreon and check out my videos over there so that's about it for this video i hope you all enjoyed so if you haven't already be sure to give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified every time i upload a video to all of my melanated women out there watching protect your womb by any means necessary and to everyone watching protect your peace by any means necessary i wish you all love light and prosperity and you'll see me in my next video peace